Hi guys, this is Mason. I'm an instructor here at EdTech Teacher, and today I'm going to talk about five ways to use Mentimeter to engage and interact with students. If you don't know, Mentimeter is a free tool available through the web and can be used across all devices. When getting started, teachers use Mentimeter.com while students use Menti.com. Teachers start by creating a new presentation and choosing presenter pace or audience pace. Students just need the unique six digit code provided by the teacher. Mentimeter allows for nine different types of questions. Today, we will just talk about five. The first way to engage and interact with students during your lesson is through multiple choice questions. With multiple choice questions, teachers can pose their question to the students and include additional reference material like images or videos uploaded from the computer. You can add a longer description, your answer choices, and how you want the results to be viewed as a bar, a donut, or a bar chart. Also, you can choose to show the results as a percent and whether or not you would want to allow the students to choose more than one answer. The second way to interact and engage students with Mentimeter is through the use of word clouds. This helps make the students' thinking visible and Presents it in a unique and interesting way. To get started with your word cloud, what question do you want to pose? And again, do you want to have reference material like images or video? Next, select how many words per student do you want to allow them to enter into the word cloud? And a nice feature on Mentimeter is the ability to filter out profanity. The third way to interact and engage students with Mentimeter is through Likert type scales. I like to use scales in my English class to see how my students were thinking and feeling before and after we read a novel. To get started, decide what type of question you want to pose to students through the Likert scale, and then what statements you want them to rate and you can decide how you want students to rate those statements. For example, a five would be strongly agree and a one would be strongly disagree. Once students rate the results, you can show the responses through a slider type scale or through a spider chart. Teachers can also decide whether they want to show the total average of the statements and whether or not they want to hide the skip button for the Likert scales. The fourth way to interact and engage students through Mentimeter is through the use of open-ended questions and responses. To get started, you can again choose reference material like images or videos pose your question, decide whether you want the results to appear as speech bubbles, as single towels, or in flow grids. And again, you can filter out responses that contain profanity, and also decide if students can submit more than one response. The fifth and final way I will talk about interacting and engaging students through Mentimeter is through the quiz feature. The quiz type question is the only question type that requires students to input their names. Students are awarded points not only on the correct answer, but on how fast they answer the question, similar to Kahoot or quizzes. There will be a 10 second countdown when you start the quiz question and then students will have a certain amount of time, default 20 seconds, to answer the question. And then you select the right answer 
and the student who answers fastest is the winner. I hope you have an opportunity to use Mentimeter and these five ways to interact with students in your BYOD or one-to-one -one classroom. Give it a try and let me know how it goes in the comments below.